Sophie Ellis Baxter From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia Jump to navigation Jump to search Sophie Ellis Baxter Sophie Ellis Baxter 2015.jpg Ellis Baxter at the 2015 British Academy Television Awards, May 2015 Born Sophie Michelle Ellis Baxter April 10, 1979, age 42 Hounslow, London, England Nationality British Other names The Dance Queen Mademoiselle Ebb Occupation Singer-songwriter model Years active 1997 present Spouses Richard Jones M. 2005 Children 5 Parents Janet Ellis Robin Baxter Musical career Genres Pop folk disco house indie rock Instruments Vocal sky tar piano Labels Polyder Fascination Bbs Interscope, US only Hollywood, US and Canada only. Associated Acts The Deans Manic Street Preachers Spiller The Freemasons The Feeling Bob Sinclair Greg Alexander Matthew Balthier Roger Sanchez Brian Cross Departure Lounge Jarman Van Buren Jr. Caldera Website SophieEllisBaxter.net Sophie Michelle Ellis Baxter Born April 10, 1979 1, is an English singer, songwriter and model. She first came to prominence in the late 1990s, as the lead singer of the indie rock band The Deans. After the group disbanded, Ellis Baxter went solo, achieving success in the early 2000s. Her music is a mixture of mainstream pop, disco, new disco, and 1980s electronic influences. Her solo debut album, Read My Lips, was released in 2001. The album reached number two in the UK Albums Chart and was certified double platinum by the British Phonographic Industry, BPI. 2-3, the record experienced international success, selling more than 2 million copies worldwide. 4, it produced four singles, three of which reached the top three in the UK. 2, in 2003. Read My Lips won the Edison Award for Best Dance Album. 5. Ellis Baxter's second album, Shoot From The Hip, was released in 2003. The album reached number 19 in the UK and produced two top 10 singles. 2. Trip The Light Fantastic, her third album, was released in 2007 and reached number 7 in the UK. 2. The album produced three singles, one of which reached the top 10 in the UK. 2. Her fourth studio album, Make a Scene, released in 2011, and its third single Bittersweet achieved top 40 positions in the UK. In 2014, Ellis Baxter released her fifth studio album, Wanderlust which became her highest charting album since Read My Lips. Her sixth album, The Latin-inspired Familia earned critical acclaim in 2016. Contents One Early Life 2 Career 2.1 The Deans 2.2 2000-2003, Read My Lips 2.3 2003-2006, Shoot From The Hip 2.4 2007-2008, Trip The Light Fantastic 2.5 2009-2011, Make A Scene 2.6 2012-2014 Wanderlust and Collaborations 2.7 2015 to 2019 Familia and the Song Diaries 2.8 2020 onwards Songs from the Kitchen Disco Spinning Plates Podcast and The Masked Singer 3 other projects 4 personal life 5 political activity 6 awards and nominations 7 current band members 8 discography 9 tours 10 references 11 external links Early life Ellis Baxter's Childhood Stamp Collection at Spring Stamp X 2018 Ellis Baxter was born in London to Janet Ellis, who was later a presenter on BBC's children's television programs Blue Peter and Jigsaw, and Robin Baxter, 
a film producer and director, they separated when she was four. 6. As a child, Ellis Bexter occasionally appeared on Blue Peter alongside her mother, who presented the program. 7. She attended St. Stephen's School and later Godolphin and Laytimer School in Hammersmith. Among her earliest public performances were with the W11 Opera Children's Opera from the age of 13, and she is now a patron of the organization. 8. Ellis Bexter has said I didn't see myself as a good-looking girl and that was good, because I didn't rely on it. I've now found lots of like-minded weirdos so it's okay. 9. Career. 1996-99, Thedians. Main article, Thedians, Band. Ellis Bexter began her professional musical career in 1996, singing lead vocals in indie band Thedians. The band released four singles, including the UK Top 40 hits I Know Enough, I Don't Get Enough, and A Pessimist Is Never Disappointed, and one self-titled album, Thedians, 1999. Videos for the band's singles were directed by her father, Robin Baxter. While in the ends, readers of Melody Maker vote Adela Spexter number one in a poll of most sexy people in rock. 10-11 The band split in 1999 after demos for a planned second album were rejected by their label Mercury Records, who then dropped the band. 11 Ella Spexter recorded a duet with Manic Street Preachers, Black Holes for the Young as a B-side for their 1998 single The Everlasting, 12, and in 1999, made an appearance on the Departure Lounge album Out of Here. 2000-2003, Read My Lips After the Deans split, Ellis Bexter took a year off from singing. Citation needed, in 2000, she collaborated with Italian DJ Spiller, adding vocals to his track Groove Jet, If This Ain't Love. It entered the UK charts at number one, just beating former Spice Girl Victoria Beckham on her first solo track. Groovejet won several awards, number one, Pop Top 20, number one, ILR, number one, Radio 1, number eight, Top Dance Track of 2000 and Single of the Year in Melody Maker. In the Metro newspaper, it received ninth place in the contest for the greatest number one of all time. 13, in 2000, it was a finalist in the Record of the Year. In that same year, it won the awards for Best Single and Best of Easer Tune at the Ericsson Music Awards. 14. In 2001, Ellis Bexter released her debut album, Read My Lips. It reached number 2 on the UK charts and spawned four top 20 hit singles. Her rework of Cher's Take Me Home reached number 2, as did Murder on the Dance Floor which became Ellis Bexter's biggest single and was on charts for 23 weeks. 15, Murder on the Dance Floor became Europe's most played song of 2002. In 2002, Read My Lips was re-released with two new songs, and a live version of Groove Jet, and Ellis Bexter won the Recording Artist Award at that year's Show Business Awards. Her third single, Get Over You, Move This Mountain was released in June 2002 and reached number 3. The fourth single, Music Gets the Best of Me, rose to number 14 in December. At the beginning of 2002, Ellis Bexter was nominated for the British Female Solo Artist Brit Award, going on to be nominated for a further two consecutive years. 16-17-18 2003-2006, Shoot From The Hip Her second album, Shoot from the Hip, was released in October 2003 and yielded two further top 10 singles, Mixed Up World and I Won't Change You. 2. The album reached number 19 on the UK charts and was certified silver by the BPI for shipments of 60,000. 219. Ellis Bexter described the album as more emotionally direct and a little more left of center at times than Read My Lips, it has more of a live feel, it's still a pop album with elements of disco, indie and rock. 20, she opted to step back from promotion of the album after becoming pregnant. 21. In 2005, Ellis Bexter was featured on the Buzzface single Circles, Just My Good Time, under the alias Madame Was LEB 22.
2007 to 2008, Trip the Light Fantastic. Ellis Baxter performing at GAY in 2007. Trip the Light Fantastic, Ellis Baxter's third album, was released in May 2007 and reached number 7 in the UK. 2. The album produced three singles, Catch You, number 8 in the UK, Me and My Imagination, number 23, and Today the Sun's On Us, number 64. 23. The song If I Can't Dance was announced as a single but later retracted. 24-25. Ellis Baxter supported George Michael on his UK tour leg in June 2007. Her own UK tour, The Trip The Light Fantastic Tour, was due to start in August 2007, but it was postponed after Ellis Baxter was invited to be the special guest on Take That's Beautiful World Tour, which commenced in October 2007. 24, Ellis Baxter stated that her tour would be rescheduled for March 2008, with all tickets purchased being valid for the rescheduled concerts. The tour was never rescheduled, and Ellis Baxter subsequently refused to discuss the issue in interviews. 26, in October 2008, Ellis Baxter sang at the Keep the Promise rally in Trafalgar Square to end child poverty. 27. 2009-2011, Make a Scene In June 2009, Ellis Baxter was featured on the Freemason single Heartbreak, Make Me a Dancer, which reached number 13 in the UK. 23, in July, she performed alongside girl groups The Saturdays and Girls Can't Catch at the iTunes Festival, held at the Roundhouse in London. 28, a recording of her performance was released, Sophie Ellis Baxter iTunes Live in London, which was the singer's first extended play. Bittersweet, co-written by Freemasons and Hannah Robinson 29, the first single from Ellis Baxter's fourth album, was released in May 2010 and reached 25 on the UK Singles Chart. Ellis Baxter's collaboration with DJ Armin Van Buren, Not Giving Up on Love, was released as a single in August 2010 in Europe. 3031 also in 2010, she was featured on the Junior Caldera single Can't Fight This Feeling. 32. The singer's fourth album, Make a Scene, was released in June 2011 following a year-long delay, during which she left her label Universal Music Group to establish her own label, EBGBs. 33. 34. Ellis Baxter said that her decision to leave Universal was spurred on by the departure of the head of Fascination Records, the sub-label to which she was signed, following the release of Bittersweet. 35. Ellis Baxter described Make a Scene as very much, a dance album more so than any of my other albums. 36. Ellis Baxter said she was planning an album that's really different, but I think this album, Make a Scene is a good way to bow out of the dance sound for now. I think it's finishing on a high. 36. She worked with Calvin Harris, Richard X, Dimitri Tikovoy, Hannah Robinson, Meta Enemy, 37, and Liam Howe from the Sneaker Pimps off and on preceded the release of the album in continental Europe and Russia, where the album was released by Universal Music Russia, 38, in the UK. The single Starlight was released ahead of the album in May 2011. 39. Ellis Baxter supported synth-pop band Erasure on their Total Pop. Forest tour of Woodland locations in the UK in June 2011. 40. She resumed touring internationally in 2011, playing venues such as Jakarta's Soul Nation Festival, as well as returning to Australia by performing in Sydney and Melbourne. 41. Ellis Baxter collaborated with French DJ Bob Sinclair on a track titled Fuck With You, released in November 2011, which was included on his album Disco Crash and was a huge club hit in continental Europe. 42-43, Ellis Baxter's collaboration with French DJ Matthew Bouthier, Beautiful, was released in July 2012 in France. 44. 2012-2014 Wanderlust and Collaborations In May 2011, she revealed that she had begun work on her fifth album. 45. Beginning in 2012, 
Ellis Bexter worked with British singer and producer Ed Harcourt on a more concept-driven record, and possibly having as few as eight tracks. Her performance at a London charity gala in November 2012 including a new song, Young Blood, 46, a demo of the song was released in March 2013 as a complimentary digital download from her website, as a thank you gift to her fans. 47, also in 2013, she performed outdoors at Old Republic Square in Almaty, Kazakhstan. 48, Ellis Baxter confirmed completion of the album in May and revealed its title, Wanderlust, and covert art in October. 4950. Young Blood was released as the lead single from Wanderlust in November 2013, peaking at number 3 on the UK indie chart 51, and at number 34 on the UK singles chart. 52. The album was released in January 2014 and peaked at number 4 on the UK Albums Chart and at number 1 on the UK Independent Albums Chart. 53-54, Wanderlust also debuted inside the Scottish Top 10 Albums Chart. 55, Ellis Baxter performed a headline sold-out show to support Wanderlust's release in January 2014 at Bush Hall, London and also performed at Union Chapel, London in April. 56-57, Ellis Baxter then announced a 10-date UK tour, which finished in Glasgow in April 2014. 58. Ellis Baxter collaborated with Gina LG and Amira Fargan on the track Back to Paradise, which was released in June 2014. The single was the number one breakout in October 2014 on the US Billboard Dance. Club Chart, 59, later reaching number 25 on the dance, Club Chart. 60, Ellis Baxter then featured on the song Only Child, produced by electronic music project Didri Conning, which was released in September 2014. The track was remixed by Paul Oakenfold, Roddy Renaert and Pearson and Hurst, among others. Citation Needed. 2015-2019 Familia and the Song Diaries Ellis Baxter performing at White Party in Bangkok, Thailand in 2017 In January 2015, Ellis Baxter said that she had begun working on her sixth studio album, once again with Ed Harcourt. 61, in January 2016, Ellis Baxter posted an image on Instagram captioned last song written. Next stop, rehearsals. Hash album 6 hash why the hell is the Callet. She also posted a YouTube video of the making of the album. 62, according to Ellis Baxter, the album, titled Familia, was inspired by a recent visit to North America, particularly Mexico. Familia is the Spanish word for family, a tattoo Ellis Baxter wears in her arm since her first child's birth, and Ellis Baxter described the album's sound as closer to that of her earlier albums. 6364, she explained that she wanted something with a Spanish or Italian feel and that it continued some stories from Wanderlust. Familia was released in September 2016 and reached number 12 on the UK Albums Chart. 23, it spawned four singles, but none of them made it into any major chart. After taking time off for the birth of her child in late 2015, she resumed touring in 2017 mostly at small venues in the UK. 65. In November 2017, she announced via Facebook a selection of her greatest hits reworked with an orchestra. 66-67, in February 2018, she announced the album's title, The Song Diaries, and pointed out that it would consist of re-recorded tracks spanning her career from The Deans to Familia's Wild Forever, plus a new track. The album's artwork was drawn by David Downtown. 68-69, the song Diary's first single Love Is You, a disco track originally performed by Carol Williams, which is sampled on her early hit Groove Jet, was released in August 2018. 70, in the following months Ellis Baxter further released the reworked versions of Take Me Home, Citation Needed, Murder on the Dance Floor and A Pessimist Is Never Disappointed. Citation Needed, 
The song Diaries was released in March 2019 and peaked at number 14 in the UK. 23. 2020 onwards, songs from the Kitchen Disco, Spinning Plates podcast and The Masked Singer. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown in the UK, Ellis Bexter performed live weekly Kitchen Disco concerts featuring herself and her family, streamed live from their kitchen on Instagram. 71. Starting June 24, 2020, Ellis Bexter started a weekly podcast titled Spinning Plates with Sophie Ellis Bexter in which she interviews working mothers. 72. Guests have included Fern Cotton, Caitlin Moran, Mylene Class, and Janet Ellis. On July 16, 2020, Ellis Bexter announced the greatest hits album songs from the Kitchen Disco. 73. The album was preceded by the release of a single, Crying at the Discotheque, a cover version of the Alcazar song, which she had performed during her lockdown concerts in September 2020. 74. She performed the single on The Graham Norton Show on New Year's Eve. In 2020, Ellis Bexter competed in the second series of The Masked Singer as Alien. She was the first singer to be unmasked. 75. Other projects. In 2001, Ellis Bexter auditioned for the 2001 film Moulin Rouge. For the character, Satine. 76. In 2007, Ellis Bexter appeared at Christmas in the Robbie the Reindeer episode, Close Encounters of the Herd Kind. Ellis Bexter was depicted as a female alien at the closure of the story, singing the song Supersonic. The last track on her third solo studio album Trip the Like Fantastic. In November of that year she also launched the Power Greener Schools program, which aims to give schools in the UK a green makeover by providing free energy audits, implementing tailor-made energy efficiency measures to reduce their carbon footprint, and educating children on how to be greener 77. She also launched Capital Radio's Capital 95.8 Lights Out London campaign, which asks Londoners to switch off their lights for one hour in a bid to save 750 megawatt hours and send a message to the world on the importance of climate change. 78. In 2008, she features in the short musical film The Town That Bores Me by photographer Ben Charles Edwards. The film also features Jodie Harsh. Kelly Osborne, and Zandra Rhodes. The film was set to debut at the Portobello Film Festival and is produced by Glass Loves and Shoot to Kill Productions. 79. In 2008, she fronted a campaign for the Children's Society encouraging people to log on to the hundreds and thousands of Childhood Memories website to donate their favorite childhood memory. 80. In May 2008, Ellis Bexter was hired by cosmetics brand Rimmel as one of their new faces. 81, a song by Ellis Bexter, Sophia Loren, was featured in one of the Rimmel London television adverts for the line Sexy Curves. 82, Ellis Bexter appeared as an advocate for Verdi on BBC World News classical music program Visionaries. 83, in September 2014. The Pretty Polly Hosiery Company announced that she was their latest face and legs, and would be designing and modeling for them. 84. Ellis Bexter was a contestant in the 11th series of the televised dance competition Strictly Come Dancing in late 2013. She was partnered with Brendan Cole and reached the final, placing fourth. 85. In March 2019, Ellis Bexter appeared as an extra in Game of Thrones, Season 8, Episode 3 The Long Night. 86. In July 2020 she started a podcast called Spinning Plates which focuses on mothers and their careers. 87. Personal Life. Ellis Bexter married the feeling bassist Richard Jones in 2005. 88. Jones has said something kind of smacked us in the face. The chemistry was incredible. It was like nothing I've ever experienced, and their first baby was born, two months early, only eight months after they started going out together. 89. She suffered from preeclampsia, the onset of high blood pressure, during her first two pregnancies resulting in both deliveries being premature. 90. 
Ellis Baxter is an ambassador for Born, a medical research charity looking into the causes of premature birth. 91. They have five sons. 92. Political activity. In the 2019 EU elections, Ellis Baxter endorsed the Independent Group for Change. 93. Her father, Robin Baxter was a candidate for the Southeast region. He obtained 105,832, 4.2% citation needed, votes but failed to win a seat as he failed to obtain 5% of the vote. Awards and Nominations Year Awards Work Category Result 1999 Emmy Awards The Dion's Best New Band 94, Nominated 2000 The Record of the Year Groove Jet Record of the Year Nominated Smash Hits Poll Winners Party Best Dance Tune 95, Nominated Ericsson Music Awards Best Single 1 Best Ivisa Tune 1 2001 Brit Awards Best British Single Nominated Dance Star Awards Capital FM Worldwide Record of the Year 1 2002 Music Television Awards Herself Best New Act Nominated Best Dance Nominated MTV Europe Music Awards Nominated Variety Club Show Business Awards Recording Artist Award 1 Brit Awards British Female Solo Artist Nominated 2003 Nominated Echo Awards Best International Newcomer Nominated Hungarian Music Awards Read My Lips Best Foreign Dance Album 1 Apra Music Awards Murder on the Dance Floor Most Performed Foreign Work Nominated Top of the Pops Awards Herself Most Annoying Voice 96, Nominated Pop Pasho 97, 1 2004 Brit Awards British Female Solo Artist Nominated 2007 Pop Justice £20 Music Prize Catch You Best British Pop Single Nominated 2010 Bittersweet Nominated 2011 International Dance Music Awards Not Giving Up On Love With Armin Van Buren, Best Commercial Dance Track Nominated Best Trance Track 98, 1 2014 AIM Independent Music Awards Herself Best Live Act 1 Current Band Members Phil Wilkinson, Drums Richard Jones, Bass Karen Jeremiah, Keyboards Seton Daunt, Guitar Gita Langley, Backing Vocals, Violin Discography Further Information, Sophie Ellis Baxter Discography Studio Albums Read My Lips, 2001 Shoot From The Hip, 2003 Trip the Light Fantastic, 2007 Make a Scene, 2011 Wanderlust, 2014 Familia, 2016 Compilations and Greatest Hits The Song Diaries, 2019 Songs from the Kitchen Disco, 2020 Tours Ellis Baxter Performing in November 2012 Read My Lips Tour, 2002-0399 Straight to the Heart Tour, 2009-10-100 Wanderlust Tour, 2014-101 Familia Tour, 2017-102 The Song Diaries Tour, 2019-103 Kitchen Disco Tour, 2022-104 Opening Act 25 Live, for George Michael, 2006-105 Beautiful World Tour, for Take That, 2007-106 Pandemonium Tour, for Pet Shop Boys, 2010-107 Total Pop Forest Tour, for Erasure, 2011-108 Summer 2019, for Kylie Minogue, 2019-109 what the Future Holds Tour, for Steps, 2021-110